Hello, Interweb. Welcome to my very first math video. Um, I've had to do a lot of playing around with my computer to get this stuff to work. Um, because the new, um, what's it called? Windows Movie Maker. The new Windows Movie Maker is terrible because you can't narrate stuff. So, I'm going to have to narrate it as I'm doing it. Now, I don't know why specifically I chose this topic for my very first math video, um, but the topic is problems with infinity. Um, the infinity symbol is actually kind of um, important, I guess, to me, because um, my signature for the Cheshire Mannequin CM is pretty much an infinity symbol. Um, but anyway, that's just a side topic. Well, I guess I'll just leave that there. Let me grab a new piece of paper. Can you see that? Oh, we'll have to move that. Alrighty. So, infinity is really, really big. Really frickin' big. R, F, B. Alright? But, how big is infinity? Because, Infinity is greater than 100. Infinity is greater than 1,000. Infinity is even greater than 1 million. Infinity is even greater than such a huge number that I'm not even going to bother counting the zeros. And that is because infinity goes on forever. But like I said just a moment ago, just how big is infinity? Well, well, we'll start with the problem. I'll give you a math problem here. Infinity minus 5. Infinity goes on forever, right? So, if you take 5 away, that's forever minus 5, which technically is still forever. So, infinity minus 5 is equal to infinity, right? We'll leave that where it is right now. And then we'll take another number, say 2. Infinity minus 2 is equal to infinity. You can do addition as well, but we'll get there in a second. This doesn't work mathematically. Infinity minus 5 is not equal to infinity. Mathematically, if this was a variable, if we take x minus 5 is equal to x, that doesn't work, because you get negative 5 is equal to 0. And this is impossible. But technically, infinity is still equal, or infinity minus 5 is still equal to infinity. And the same thing happens with this. You get negative 2 is equal to 0, which you can't have. And the same goes for addition, infinity plus 3 is equal to infinity, because it's 3 greater than infinity, but since infinity is forever, it's infinity. This still isn't possible, because this would be 3 is equal to 0. What about division? Infinity over 2, half of infinity. It's equal to infinity. This doesn't work with anything. If this was a variable, multiply it by, inf or 1 over infinity, and we get one half is equal to infinity over infinity, which is one. Did I do that right? I did do that right, okay. And this doesn't work either. Division doesn't work. Multiplication doesn't work. So, there are two stated laws of mathematics the two most important things that you have to follow. The first one is 
you cannot take the square root of a negative number. And that is because if you take the square root of negative 1, say, because it's easy, any number multiplied by itself will not get you a negative. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. That is because a positive times a positive is, positive is a positive, a negative times a positive is a negative, but since they have to be the same, it would be a negative times a negative, which is a positive. So this is impossible. And the second one is, you cannot divide by zero. Now, technically, infinity follows these rules, but it doesn't follow simple laws of mathematics, such as solving expressions like this. And that brings me to ask you guys this question. We know that infinity isn't a rational number. Infinity is not rational. But what is it? It's not imaginary because it exists. The square root of negative 1 is imaginary because it doesn't exist. But infinity does exist. Infinity is the farthest you could possibly go, which is forever, because you can never stop counting. Now, the problem with this is, it's not rational, which means it's irrational. Now, an irrational number is one that is not managed easily, such as uh, pi or tau because these go on forever. You've got 3.141592652 blah 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 on and on forever and then the same with that. This is imaginary because there is no possible solution so there's nothing here. These have something it just goes on forever but there's nothing here. Infinity technically falls into both categories. It is irrational and it can be classified as imaginary even though it actually exists. We can take infinity and it will go on forever, just like pi, or just like tau, or just like any other repeating decimal. 3.3 .3 repeating, it'll go on forever. So it's irrational. However, because infinity is irrational, it can't be imaginary. But, look at this. Infinity is irrational because, here, I'll write you a proof. Infinity is irrational because it goes on forever. Definition of irrational. Infinity is imaginary because there is no number that exists for it. No physical um, symbol or property. This is the symbol for infinity, but there is no letter or number, I'm sorry. It cannot be represented by any number. For all we know, there could be a square root of negative one, and infinity could be a lie, but based on what we know right now, infinity is an irrational, imaginary number, despite being not imaginary. So I leave you with this question. What is infinity? And what could we possibly do with it? Hi mannequins, um, it's a new type of video for me. I hope you guys like it and I'll be doing a lot more like it.
probably about math, maybe other stuff. I could try other stuff. Um, if you have ideas, please tell me, because I kind of had fun doing that, um, and I love math. Um, please give me feedback. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah! Cheshire Mannequin.